I have a friend who's been doing ministry work for decades now, and he's just a really good guy. He's got a great heart, but you know, he doesn't like his job. His, his job is filled with drudgery. He was talking to me this summer. He was just saying, well, he says, what I do is successful, but I don't really like it. I don't enjoy it. I find no delight in it. Then he was talking about his prayer time, and he was saying how he's very dutiful. He, he prays every day, and he reads scripture. He says, I do the things that I see that it's asking me to do, but the truth is, I don't have a lot of joy in my life. It, it's like I'm doing everything out of duty, and I'm doing everything out of drudgery. And I haven't known exactly what to say to him. And then just last week, I heard a quote that I think is just, I think it's just a beautiful quote. What comes into our mind when we think of God is the most important thing about us. For we tend by a secret law of the soul to move toward our mental image of God. And I, I think my friend sees God as sort of a, as a taskmaster, someone who's saying, do this, do that, do this, do that. And so the way he moves is he does this, he does that, he does this, he does that. But there's no joy in his life. There's no, there's no passion in his life. And I think he knows what his calling is, but he doesn't want to do that. He's doing the dutiful thing. What is a good father like? Jesus, Jesus was saying, listen, if, if, if your son asks you for a fish, which among of you will give him a stone? He says, if you who are evil do good things, how much more will your Father give good things to those who ask Him? Scripture wants to give us an image of the Father that is delighting in us. Now, I have four kids. I really want them to have a job that, that uses every nook and cranny of every skill and gift that they have. And scripture says, if I who am evil have this desire for my children, how much more God has for us a desire that we walk into a calling that's unique, that's transforming, that brings joy to everybody around us, that brings life to people around us, and even brings life to us as we walk into the very thing that God has made us uniquely qualified to do. I really believe the key to finding our calling is getting the right mental image of God the right mental image of our Father, a loving Father who cares for us, who delights in us, who's made us for something unique. And as we find that true mental image of God, the secret law in our soul is going to move us toward that true mental image of God. Isn't God something?